Hi, welcome back to Lynette's Beauty Box. How are you guys doing today? Me? I'm hanging in there doing all right. I don't like this having to be at home all the time. Um, I did find out of my daughter that she went on a job interview today and she um, had to go to the restroom. So she stopped at um, a convenience store and she lost her footing and her balance. And so after apparently the police asked her if she was okay, they asked her if she was drunk, gave her a breathalyzer test and wanted to search her pockets because the convenience store that she had visited, um, people like from. And of course, my daughter being a little bit of a smart ass, like, well, you want to search my purse too? And they're like, well, now that you mention it, yes, we do. So that was fun for her. They made her late to her job interview. Luckily, the interviewer understood and was able to reschedule it. But, you know, at, at no point do I think that there is any call for that. I mean, she didn't look drunk, she didn't act drunk, except for she tripped. Um, I mean, she didn't, wasn't dressed know, all disheveled. I mean, I understand that the police have a job to do, but, you know, they're just taking this way, way too far. Matter of fact, a friend of mine, um, her, uh, one of her close friends, was um had gotten off work and he was going to the convenience store to get gas and get something to eat and he got pulled over by the police and a ticket for breaking the um the stay-at-home order when he had just gotten, yeah. So I, I think um, some of these police officers are uh, being ridiculous. I mean, in my state, if you break this order, you can be fined ten thousand dollars, a thousand dollars, something. Anyway, something ridiculous. Um. So the thing is, is that, you know, if you're an essential employee, which this fellow was, um, you have to work. I mean, they can't, you know, basically quarantine you in your house. Not yet. They haven't gone that far. But, I mean, we still can get out and go for walks, exercise outside of our home. We can go to the store. We can go to pharmacies, doctor's appointments. We can go to work. We can go to job interviews because so many of us have been laid off. But um, like I said, the police um, are being stupid. Yes, I, I firmly believe that there are some people that um, are taking advantage of the situation and aren't following the guidelines that have been set forth for them. Um, but the fact of the matter is, is that our city and our county was quarantined, basically, I'm calling it quarantine, was given a stay-at-home order. Um, before our state was. So, 
you know, I get the whole reason behind it. I'm not saying that this is stupid or anything. I'm just saying that some of the police officers in my city um, need to loosen the belt. And I mean, it's not like the governor of Missouri has declared martial law and brought in the National Guard for heaven's sake. I am still scratchy throat and it has to do everything to do with allergies and I walk when it's cold outside and I have COPD so but I did get a nice little treat today um something that I desperately needed I got a little present from Sephora I was really excited when this came today because whenever I ordered whenever I ordered from Sephora um, all over their site it said um, that there was going to be a lot of delays and since I'm a Rouge member and usually get my stuff in two days I was a little bit worried about it but um, it was a little bit delayed, but not anything like I was actually When I opened the box, um, there was a card inside, but apparently Sephora is doing their Beauty Insider Spring Savings event. It starts the 17th, which is tomorrow. And um, and that's for Rouge, and it runs from through the 27th. Rouge gets 20% off. Um, if you're a VIB, you get 15% off, and it starts the 21st for you. And then if you're just a Beauty Insider, you can start on the 23rd, and you get 10% off, which I know that it's not a whole lot percentage off, but I mean, let's face it, if you're gonna buy these products, at least you can do is save a little money. So if you haven't gotten one of these cards, um, you can, well, not that it says use in stores, but that's not possible. Um, if you wanna shop online during the spring, Savings event, use the code SPRING SAVE at checkout. Or you can text the word SPRING to 63485 to save your discount to your mobile wallet. Again, the Beauty Insider event starts the 17th for Rouge. The 21st for VIB, and that's a 15% off. And then the 23rd for Beauty Insiders with 10% off. And if you haven't got the card, use the code SPRINGS, save at checkout, or text SPRING, S P R I N G, to 63485 to save your discount to your mobile wallet. Hashtag not sponsored. I just like to save anybody money as possible. So one of the reasons I was um, really excited that this came today was because I had to order some more shampoo and conditioner. And as most of you know, the only conditioner and shampoo that I use is Briogeo. And I love this banana. Be gentle, be kind, banana and coconut, um, nourishing superfood shampoo. It is wonderful. And I used my very, very last bit of my shampoo last night. And I had to put some water in it, shake it up. You know how, how you do when you're a broke ass bitch. So <clears throat> there's that. And then the other thing, I had ordered something for Marty because he was out of his face wash, and he loves, loves 
Jack Black's products, and I got him the Deep Dive Glycolic Facial Cleanser with Kale and Clay and Volcanic Ash. And so he will be so happy to get this. Pardon me, I'm going to use a burp cloth. Get the drip. And then, as we all know, when you order from Sephora, you can get some free samples. And they reduce them down to two instead of three. But um, I got the Lancer the Method Polish. I've never heard of this brand before. Never tried anything like this, but I figured I would try it. I think it's supposed to be like an exfoliating cleanser or something. I'm not sure, but I will check it out and then let you know. And then I also got um, something from Giorgio Armani. It's the Lip Maestro Intense Velvet Color. And I love it when you get these little pods. Because I usually can get a couple uses out of these. But this one even comes with a brush. It's just a throwaway brush, but I thought that was cool. Anyway. And then I also received this. They do this like once or twice a year. And I am always excited when they do. And this is their fragrance set. Always love finding new fragrances I love. And since perfumes are so expensive, I mean, I don't know about you, but I really don't have a couple hundred dollars to drop on perfume. So I would like to try it out for several times and see if it's worth my time. So the first one I got was um, Chloe. And it is a little sprayer. And this one, it says a subtle or sublime powdery rose, feminine natural, sexy and chic. I really like this. I've gotten this before. It's really, really nice. And then there's one from Versace. Right, Crystal, and it is again with the sprayer. I like that Sephora is mostly the ones that they have are little sprays. Oh, that smells really good. And it says it has yuzu, iced accord, pomegranate, peony, magnolia. Acajou, Lotus Flower Musk, and Vegetal Amber. It's Fruity Flowery Musk. And most of these have like a, this has a 36 month shelf life, so that's nice. Next one is um, Yves Saint Laurent. And it is the perfume Libra. This is the first floral lavender from a singular trail like a breath of freedom. The iconic orange blossom flower from Morocco, a luminous and central white flower, twisted by the lavender from France, an ambiguous flower often considered a masculine 
has masculine bringing boldness, freshness, and texture. I'll be right back. Sorry about that. Had to take a black jelly bean break. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so That's where we left off. And then, of course, the next one is my favorite scent. And that would be Flower Bone, which I'm almost out of. Flower Bone. And um, so, if you've never tried flower balm, if you like a floral scent, this is very girly, very floral, but not overpowering. And I absolutely love it. Like I said, it's my favorite. Marty gets it for me every year for my birthday. Except this year he didn't because I still had a lot left from the, last, from the year before. The next one is from Valentino, and it's called Donna, I guess is what it's called. It says it's supposed to be parental, woodsy, fragrant. What I think of this one. Most of the other ones, I know what they smell like. But this one. Mm. Okay. Floral. It is woodsy. It has like a, a sweetness. It's not something that I would really like. But yeah, give me some of that, but maybe my daughter um, will like it. The next one is Replica, and it's by Mason Margella. And this one is um, the reproduction of familiar scents and moments of varying locations and periods. So it says the fragrance description is sun kissed, salty skin. Full size of replicas bottles, which I think they're like three and a half ounces, are about $120. This beach walk notes of Lang Lang, Bergamot, and Pink Peppercorn, the fragrance of the beach, and salty sprayed skin, a summer's day. I'm not going to spray it since um, I just sprayed that one on me and I don't want to overload my senses. And then this one is from Giorgio Armani and it's C. Passione. Or C. Passione. And I really like this perfume. Very grown up. This is the new. Feminine fragrance. It 
And most of these perfumes have a shelf life between two years and two and a half years. So, the last thing I got in my little sample bag was from Moroccan Oil Body. Heard of the Moroccan Oil for hair, but not body. This is hand cream. Got a little safety seal on there. Always good to know. Well, if I can get the safety seal off of there. There we go. I don't want to really put it on there. Not sure if it has a smell. Feels good. Really doesn't have a smell. And it feels really good on my skin. I inherited a lot of things from my mother. Um, one of them was extremely dry skin. So, thanks, Mom. And then, the other thing I wanted to do before I left you guys is pop this open. If I can get it open. I'll tell you what, when they they seal these products, they really seal them. So that that's a good thing. I really appreciate that. So while well, I'm opening this, um, so how are you guys doing? How are you dealing with um, all this corona stuff? I'm trying to hang in there. I can't really shop for new clothes since I've lost 100 pounds. But, and I was going to try to sell my clothes because all of my clothes comes from Catherine's, which is a higher end, not high end, but um, Basically, it's not a cheap place to buy clothes. They're not Walmart specials by all means. Um, most of the blouses and pants have like a $50 tag or higher, you know. So, I said, they're not exactly, you know, the cheap stuff. And when you're on a fixed income, hey, Marty bought me a brand new wardrobe last year. He had gotten his um, back pay finally for his disability. And so he felt like he owed it to me, which he really didn't um, because, you know, I've been paying the bills for three years, which is not a big deal. It's what you do when you're a couple. Okay, I'm dipping my brush into this, and it's kind of a whipped texture. And I really don't I really don't like this color on me. This is the shade 202 and it kind of looks uh, like a very brownish nude. 
So, let's try again. Wipe this off. I got some more enough. I did get some more Okay, so that wasn't the color for me. And um, here's what we got left. So, let's try. I know I'm going to like the red. So, let's try shade 501, which has a slight berry nudish color. Kind of what it looks like to me. Let me see if I have any more lip brushes. Uh, yes, I do. I have one that I got from Sigma. Okay, let's try this one. Like I said, when you dip into it, it's very moussey. Pretty color. You're probably going to hear a baby scream in about two minutes. Our little peanut just woke up from a nap. So what do we think? I actually like, um, it says intense velvet color. I actually like it. So let's take a look. On the good old cell and see exactly what we're looking at as far as price. So what are your guys thoughts? So I like using a lip brush when I put on lipstick. It helps me get a clean line. Plus, um, I have scars on the top of lip where I um, my face caught on fire a couple of years ago. You know, the more I look at this color, the more I actually like it. Oh, for heaven's sake! So. My phone was off and now it's going to, you know, go bonkers to turn off the, turn off the volume here. Okay. So, this is the Lip Maestro from Giorgio Armani. Wow. So the Lip Maestro that I have here. It retails for thirty eight dollars. Wow. And I was gonna just about gonna get a hop on to my um, my little app and buy me a tube. 
Not at that price. And I could spend $38 for a palette, but for on one tube of lipstick, uh, can't do it. I wish I could, but I can't. Okay, so that was all the goodies. I didn't like go crazy at Sephora, which, you know, I really wanted to. Some retail therapy would have done me some really good, but I needed to rein it in and, you know, be able to take care of the fam, our ever-growing family. And the price of diapers are expensive, so you gotta, you gotta save where you can save. So, oh, thank you for hanging out with me, and um, I love you guys, and I thank you all for your support over the past year. Um, I love you, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!